Yesterday we talked about physical changes and we put salt in water and we learned that we could separate the salt and water by letting the, the water evaporate and once the water evaporated we'd have the salt back. So that's a physical change because it's still salt at the end of the reaction. Today I'm going to show you a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction is different because both substances change chemically. Over here at the table, I have two Coca-Cola, two liter Coca-Cola bottles, and I have balloons attach attached to the top, and in one of these I have salt, and in one of these I have baking soda. I'm going to show you two chemical reactions. By the end of the chemical reaction, both the soda and the salt or the baking soda will be chemically different. So that's why it's a chemical reaction, because it's changed. It's no longer the same thing. So let's go ahead and pour the salt in the first one. You can see the liquid is pouring back into the balloon, and now look, look at all this gas that was produced from our chemical reaction. Look at all that extra gas that was produced. That's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Let's see what happens when you mix baking soda. Oh.